in Prismatic Labs. And in this video, we will be unveiling our newest feature for our Prism E2 client. Uh, we have been hard at work on this for over a month, and uh, today we finally released our Prism Web UI. So the community has been asking for a long time for a simple way to manage their validators and their beacon node without needing to know the terminal or be experienced with CLI commands. Um, so this interface will be a really great way for you to try out Prism, try to validate, try to go through the process um, without being an expert perhaps in uh, dealing with the terminal. So we're going to go and get started. Uh, so essentially here I have a running beacon node, which is currently synced with the Medaya testnet. Um, so, you know, you make sure that you're running a beacon node and, you know, you're running as expected. Um, next up, what you're going to need is basically you're going to need to, um, you're going to need to run a validator client. So let's give that a shot here. So we're going to be running the validator client with the web option. As soon as you do that uh, on your default browser, you will see a little web interface pop up. So in this case, we're going to go right ahead and we're going to go and create a wallet to get started. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for, you know, right now we have the option to create an HD wallet. So you can use a mnemonic phrase to get started and to um, essentially, you know, create your validator. Uh, the imported wallet is the default option and it's the recommended option. So this way you can import external key stores such as those created during the ETH2 launchpad process into your client. So we're going to go right ahead with this option with some keys I had lying around. So we're going to create a wallet by importing some keys. Great. Pick a default wallet directory. And what we're going to do next is we're going to be importing some validating keys. So I'm going to set, select these keys that I had. Some of these are inactive. Maybe one of them is, is already exited, um, but we're going to go right ahead and click continue. You're going to basically need the password that you use to, uh, to basically encrypt your key stores in the first place. Um, and you're going to have to set a strong wallet password. So for purposes of demonstration, we're going to proceed with a continue. So we're going to create a wallet. It's going to redirect you to your dashboard, right? Where I can see how much money I've been losing because I've been keeping these validators offline myself. Um, in this case, you can see here that, uh, you know, we see that we have a low chain participation at the moment as evidenced by the launch of the Zincan testnet. A lot of validators migrated away from Medaya for the day and participation has been lagging behind a little bit. So the validator UI will tell you about this. Um, moreover, it will tell you the chain is uh, having no finality. So in this case, I can see my recent validator numbers. So I can see my inclusion distance, the number of peers that my nodes have, and I can see some basic performance of my validators. Next up, if I go to my accounts list page, um, you can see some pretty cool stuff. You can see basically um, your keys, their effective balance, their current balance, activation epoch, and more, um, as well as you know their status. So I have one validator that is actually exited. The cool thing that you can do here is you can actually select a bunch of accounts and you can view them in a block explorer. And the block explorer of choice is Beacon Chain. So you can actually compare and contrast their historical performance in a very easy way. Uh, additionally, you can choose to back up some keys. So I can set a password for them. I can generate a backup and basically download a backup.zip file for my validators. Um, moreover, if you want to import more keys, you can easily do that here by importing more validating keys from the wallet accounts page. Or you can create new accounts as well. You can pick a number of accounts that you want to generate. So in this case, let's say I want to generate three new accounts. As soon as I continue, it'll generate a JSON file. That's the deposit data file that I can use then to upload into the launch pad. A really cool thing is that you can actually monitor your system logs. So you can monitor your validator client and your beacon node and how they're going without needing to deal with the terminal. So you can see if you have a high percentage of error logs, that probably means something wrong is going on. In this case, the validator logs seem to be running just okay. I can see that my validators actually have an attestation schedule, has been submitting attestations, so we should be seeing some green numbers very soon in, in, on, on, on my side. You can also change your validator password um, and also view some information about your wallet. So kind of what type of wallet do you have, some information about how can I change my wallet password, um, how can I recover my wallet, for example. All these are options that are available to you when using the Prism Web UI. And yeah, so that is it for a basic walkthrough of how to how to how to use it. Um, and I hope that you guys uh, find it interesting and find it useful to you in your in your staking journey. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to us on Discord, and uh, you know, open any issues. This effort is completely open source. It's a it's it's a it's a fully open source repository where anyone can contribute. It's an Angular application, and we'd love to have you uh, have you help out. So please check it out on GitHub. It's Prism Web UI. And yeah, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks, everyone.